All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Today is drag race day. If you saw a previous video, I did a drag race with Mob Rockets. We drag raced the So Long Rockets. We lost them, we lost them both. But today we are back. We're going to do this again. There's mine set up on the pad. There's his set up on the pad. It's a beautiful day so far. There's Mr. Mob Rockets himself. How you feeling about this, man? We're going to do it this time. We're getting them both back. That That's right. We're going to do it. <laughs> yes, we have plenty of space. We learned a lot from that last one. And we're going to launch these and we're going to get them back. So stay tuned. Here we go. It's Model Rocks 321. Subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Mob Rockets channel. He does some rocket stuff too. Does some cool stuff over there. So be sure to tune into both channels. Hit the thumb up button on both channels and um, support both channels. Catch you guys later. Let's do this launch. All right, guys. Here we go. It's Model Rockets 321 and Mob Rockets. We are drag racing the so long and we are gone in five, four, three, two, one. There they go. Wow, we got staging. I see a parachute. There's one. Wow. I saw, I heard a pop. Yep. Was that you? Yep. I see my parachute way, I'm not going to move because it's, yeah, I see. Wow, I got an 18 inch parachute, I probably should have went with a 2 inch parachute. <laughs> wow. Yeah, just going to, yeah, that is up there, some serious altitude, so. You still seeing yours? Nope. Me either. I had mine. I kind of know the general area. I had it for a little while. Oh, I see mine and it's tumbling. It's not, the parachute didn't come out, but I sure can see it. Okay. So at least I'll get it back. That's just the weirdest thing. Yeah, I heard yours pop. I mean, this went to the clouds, huh? Yeah, I'm still lost. Probably drifting still. I had parachute. Had a spill hole, 18 inch. Okay, I got a beat on mine, so I'll try to. Okay. Yeah, you can head out. And you have yours on a shoe. You, what, what, what color's the shoe? Orange. I mean, one not one. No, purple. One of the purple and white. Oh, gotcha. I had it. I had it, and then I um. Yeah, but definitely out here. All right, guys. So after searching a little while, mine was lost. But Mike discovered it over here. I saw a parachute out. Maybe I saw a parachute drifting. Yes. Parachute detached because of the speed. I guess the speed. So here's so long. On the ground. Um, it did stage. It boosted. The booster still is somewhere back over that way. We'll go find those. But the parachute ripped off. Everything else is intact. Actually, the Kevlar snapped. So the Kevlar snapped. It's in two pieces. But we got it back. Now we're going to uh, work on finding... Mike's rocket and booster, and uh, we'll be right back. It's Model Rock 321. So let's go get this search on out here trekking. All right, guys. So we are currently searching for boosters. I see, I see both boosters now. So here we oh, have Mr. One. Mob Rockets. Yeah, his oh, boosters just, here. And amazing. They're like right yeah, the boosters usually there. kick. Yeah. So there's Mr. Mob Rockets booster. So his no is discovered. Rocket. And no rocket as of yet, so we're gonna do a search again. And then my booster kicked back here. Launch flight wise, I took off a little before him. We did the countdown, pressed the button same time, just took off a little bit before Mr. Mob. And here's my booster. The motor did kick out, the motor's back over that way. We saw that, so just like last time, not a, not really a scratch on the booster at all. So so strange. So and the pads are back over that way. So we're still going to continue to search for his rocket. But guys, you just witnessed the So Long 2 Drag Race Part 2. Hope you enjoyed that. We will be back with more. And we will continue to search for Mr. Mob Rockets So Long. It's lost. It's out there somewhere. We will search. We will search. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys. Peace.
Yeah, still trying to find Mike so long. Michael's uh, so long and still missing. Um, yeah, so what you got? Oh, you found it. I found it. Oh, there we go. Good deal. Yeah. So, it wow. Sitting right here. Sitting right here underneath this tree. Any moron could have seen it from anywhere. We should have seen it. Yeah. We found it though. Good, yeah. man. Well, perfect. You're my good luck charm, buddy. Oh, appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that. So, this is Mob Rockets 321 and uh, Mob Rockets drag racing the Solons again. Mine came back, you know, it's back, but look, his came down in a brand new package. Yeah. That's cool. The rocket gods are smiling on you today. Stay tuned for <laughs> drag race number three. Number three. We got to do it again. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. All right. It is debriefing time. You just saw the So Long Drag Race Part 2. Michael O'Brien, Mob Rockets, and myself. We rebuilt these and we flew them for the second time. Um, we both have flown, well, the first video, if you've seen, it's going to be attached on the end of here. We had the drag race we lost to so long. They were both lost, if you're new to what's going on. Um, they were both lost. And Estes replaced our kits for us. Shout out to Estes. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm one of their affiliates, so they did that for us. And um, today we got back out almost a year to the day, I think he told me, or a year, close to a year since we did the other drag race. And um, today I recovered, but Mike lost his. We The boosters are returned, um, just like last time. Matter of fact, here's my second set of boosters. You see the number two is on there. So this is the So Long 2. And here is my original boosters. These are the ones, um, these are the original ones um, that got lost. Well, the boost, the, the sustainer, the rocket itself got lost, but we recovered these um, both the first time and uh, this time. But this time I recovered sustainer. Um, I was keeping my eye, as you saw in the video, I was late grabbing my camera off the tripod because I had to do the launching and the filming. So you may have missed some stuff, but all in all, it did recover, not without damage. Parachute ripped off. I went with a parachute. I was going with an 18-inch plastic. Should have been nylon. I've just underestimated the speed. I went with E16-0 and E16-4 in here. If I can get this out. It's in here pretty... It's in there really tight. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it out right now. If I have my channel lock pliers, maybe it'll grip it good enough. But, um, yeah, so I'll talk about it first. Um, the went up, it came down, the Kevlar snapped. Kevlar snapped. You can see right there it's all frayed. Either snapped or I think it's just a snap. I don't see any burns near it. Yeah, it just snapped apart. So Kevlar snapped two pieces. They were kind of like near each other. Um, Mike saw it first because I was still kind of looking up. I was following the parachute that I saw in the sky for a little while, and then it, um, then I lost track of that. It was just the parachute. I thought it was the rocket under parachute, but rocket was already on the ground and parachute had vanished. We searched and searched and searched, um, but didn't find Michael so long. But as you saw, we did find Michael so long in the bush. <laughs> we did find his. So he has a video up of this also. You can see some, um, some additional footage. You may see more because I had to do a switch. So these are just shroud lines um, and uh, it's gone. Other than that, only damage was right here. I built these fins up really strong, so they're on there pretty good. Um, no damage. Booster, no damage. Perfect. Booster is perfect. I mean, I barely even see, barely even see where it hit. Maybe a little mark right there, but that was great. Um, great staging. A little, a little small stuff. Nothing serious at all. And right here, that's very minimal, minimal. And this part got a scratch there. And actually, oh, we have altimeter in here. I had trouble getting this altimeter started. So Jolly, the first one I lost, my altimeter I really like was lost in the first so long. If you watch that video, you'll see um, that. Oh, that came. Well, wow, this is some serious power because that came. It detached. Oh wow, it's covered in powder. How did powder get? Oh, it came well because I had the orange dust in there. This is covered with this orange talcum powder material. So let me see if I can get that cleaned up while I discuss. So you have the tracking powder in there. You can see during ejection, you can help you spot the rocket. It creates a big cloud. But that piece broke that. Yeah, wow, the force is really strong. Look at this. Look at this um, barrel class. Look at that. Look how it's bent open. Wow, and this was just on here attached. 
So there's some serious force behind these things. Um, you kind of forget that when you're dealing with these um, rockets. There's some serious, some serious power, or at least some serious Gs. It took off. Mine leaped off the pad. There we go, and the power's on. So let's see, did it track anything? Let's see, did we get a uh, reading? All right, battery's at 82%. Let's see, because this thing's been giving me trouble. 1,800, okay, so 1,806 feet, one flight. So it recorded, 151 miles per hour. All right, perfect. So the altimeter two did work. 1.6 seconds of thrust time. So it got up there in a hurry. 7.8 Gs peak acceleration. No wonder you get this bent out all that G-force. 4.3 Gs, so yeah, yeah. Um, Coast was uh, 6.9 seconds. So I had the uh, minus 6.9, Apogee eject at 6.9 seconds. It's pretty cool, this readout is nice. It's a little bit better than the other one. Ejection, it says 32 feet, I'm not sure. Let me see, booster, I'm not sure what. Um, well, it fell, descent, yeah, it fell to the ground, so. Duration, 62.9 seconds. So yeah, it's cool. We got a reading, just have to replace that. Good. So this bottom, I guess, powder got in there. Yeah, powder got in through here. That's, yeah, got in through that hole. So I'm gonna get this worked out. And there may possibly, he mentioned it, so there may possibly be a so long three. <laughs> we may do this again, but his is law, sadly. Um, we'll have to, you know, try to uh, get, once he gets situated, we may come across that rocket again. It may be found, so. But yeah, so kind of cool, pretty cool. I got a reading. Yeah, get that powder, get that all cleaned up, and get that out of here. Yeah, it's all inside this payload section that I didn't payload section. Usually, I wrap my altimeters and electronics and something. I have wrapped them in uh in wadding and then put like tape on there just as a little cushion. This time, I just attached it and I crossed my fingers. <laughs> so. Because it was like a last minute thing. It was like a last second thing, actually. Like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to put the altimeter in there. So, Okay, so 1,800 feet. And that was staging E-160 to E-160 to E-16-4. Yeah, that was the next thing I was going to do was, uh, yeah, that powder is in here. All right, let me see if I can grab this motor. I got to get it out of there. So let me see if channel lock go do it for me. Just need something with more grip. Wow, I got it in there pretty tight. There we go. There we go. So, so this is you know old school friction fit. You just put some tape on there. Yes, yeah, this is E16-4. I can see it through the tape. But yeah, yes, yeah, so you can see. And here was the booster. And what you do is you tape these together. The zero goes on the bottom, or the booster goes on the bottom. You tape it with clear tape. And once that ejection fired, it burns that tape apart and it kicks that piece off it, while igniting this one. And then, yeah, and they're off to the races. I really wish, I still kind of wish that I had my other one. One, I'm still holding out hope that maybe one day I had my number on there. This one has my number also. It's just covered with tape right now. Um, maybe one day. I just hope a person will just stumble upon it and see it or they have it and they say, hey, I got your rocket. Just had to get around to you. So it's been a year, coming up on a year, if not a year already. So as you can see, so long too. Um, so that was fun. That was fun. It's Model Rocks 321, guys. Go on, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumb up button. Support the channel any way you can. Please, please go and subscribe to Mob Rockets. I'm He Drag Grace with me. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to get this all fixed up. This is easy fix stuff. All easy fix. Nothing really. There's really nothing to fix. Everything is pretty much in order. Just need to replace shock cord, new parachute. Figure out what I'm gonna do with parachute. Maybe just a small, um, small nylon. Um, yeah, you got to keep an eye on these rockets. So I'm gonna keep going with E16. That was high. I mean, it's thing get up there pretty good. But there's no reason why. I wish we should both be recovering these with no issue. Like there shouldn't be all this drama with this rocket. And I saved these two yellow spacers. I taped them together just to keep the boosters, keep everything together. So that's what I do. Um, I can't get this down. I can't get this in here right now. I don't know what's going on. I think it's catching the edge of this tape. Something's going on. Something's getting caught up. But normally I can store it just like that. I don't know what's going on today. Let me see. 
I'm gonna put this side in first and see. All right, yeah, that should do it. Yeah, I guess I wanted that side first. Then get this side in. But yeah, guys, while I fiddle with this, go on, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, check out some other videos, support, 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 anything will help. Anything will help the channel, help me get out there and make more videos and get motivated. It's just been really hot, so that's why you haven't seen a lot of videos, launch videos come up lately, because it's been hot. But anyway, I'm out of here. Model Rocks 321, catch you on another video.